Hello, my name is Karen Stoltzner. I'm a researcher and author with a PhD in linguistics. In recent months, I read an article for a Scientific American Mind blog in which I spoke about sexual harassment that I'd endured from a male colleague for several years. I did this to highlight the wide problem of sexual harassment in the workplace for women, including those in scientific and academic fields. Many people who read the article immediately identified my harasser by name and spoke publicly about my situation in their own blogs and other social media. They knew who my harasser was because he'd recently been disciplined by his employer for his behaviour. As a result, my harasser filed a defamation suit against me, trying to bully me into silence. Although he'd spent thousands of dollars on a lawyer to clear his name, he knew that I could not afford the same. In my attempts to settle out of court, he's tried to bully me into signing a retraction, which claimed that I'd lied about the whole ordeal, including his ongoing harassment of me and assaults at one of our professional conferences. Although I didn't sign the retraction, he posted the document on his very public Facebook page and announced victory over me. This also led to false public edits being made to my Wikipedia page. I never lied about the harassment I endured, and I have evidence and witnesses to attest to my experiences. The only crime I've committed is not being rich enough to defend myself. If you believe in justice and in protecting victims who are bullied into silence, please dig deep and help support this legal fund. If my harasser succeeds in bullying me into silence, it'll only serve to embolden harassers and teach victims that they should never speak up lest it ruin their lives. Thank you for listening to my story, and please give as you can. Thank you.